What's up, what's up, what's up, man? What to do, what to do? Welcome to Eugene Real Talk TV. Let's talk about it, man. I got a question to ask people. Cause it don't it don't seems like some of some of these brothers we got around know how to think like a man. So and I was having a conversation with one of my friends earlier and God, we both we came up the same way and stuff. So I asked him the question all I do. Did we need our daddy in the house to become a man? Do you think a man a boy coming up in life need his dad in the house to become a man? To train him to become a man. Do you guys think that? Because yeah, I just asking this question because most of most of my friends that I knew, most of my my close friends I knew and stuff like that. We all we didn't have our parent our dad in the house. We didn't have our dad in the house. But the way we came up is so different from the way we see these young kids in the days. And People always say that oh the kids they need they need both parents in the house they need both they need a dad and all that stuff in the house to train it and my thing is yeah that's true and it can also be you really don't need it it's like I didn't leave my dad in the house to become a man, to know that how a man is supposed to do things or how a man not supposed to do things. I didn't. Sometimes we need the environments around us to train us. Sometimes we need the people around us to train us because half of the kids then now that you that people be saying, oh, they need a dad around. Half of the dad and now is no different from the kids. Half of the dad is no different from the kids. We need to go back to the old ways, how it used to be. When the whole community could raise your kids. When the whole community could discipline your kids. Because I came up like that. I always tell people, I couldn't go outside my house and do something stupid. Because I know for a fire that if an older person see me doing something crazy, they're gonna stop they're gonna grab me and start beating the crap out of me and take me to my mom and my mom gonna beat the crap out of me. Then I get on punishment. And maybe when she passing by me every free every few minutes or so, I'm gonna get something like probably a slap or something. <laughs> because she still be thinking about it. You had the oldest gentleman in the in the in the hood that when I come from school, I I know damn well to go and go see them. I had to go to these old gentlemen and stuff. They gave me stuff to do. When did we when did we take our our mind from on stuff like that? When did we take our our thinking from on stuff like that? Because I'm not only thinking about Africa. You had when I came here, you had people in the hood. That that was on drugs, but everybody else was looking after the kids. Everybody else was making sure that kids that kid was okay. The mom is drug out, the dad is drug out, but everybody else made sure that kid is okay. That kid could go to anybody else else's house and sit there, chill, be peaceful there. They don't have to be in the house where they know the bad stuff going on. And everybody realized that they never try to judge the parents and stuff like that. They just try to help the kids because they know the parents never lost. But they had to help the soul that wasn't lost, the soul that was coming up, which were the kids. Now, you can't even do that no more. You can't even talk. You can't even try to tell somebody, kids, the right stuff no more without some of you parents then jumping in the way and telling the person, say, oh, don't talk to my kid. You ain't raised my kid. I mean, he's not your kid. He's not this. No. Our kids, yeah, it's like biological parents. Yeah. But if you're not there, a grown-ass person who is older than your kid is supposed to step in as you. We lost touch of that. 
we lost touch of that. If we had touch of that, it wouldn't be a lot of kids then running out here doing stupid stuff. It wouldn't be a lot of kids then doing all these crap that goes on. So the question is like, did we need our daddy in our household for some of us to really become a man? Because I came up, I can talk to a woman like respect for it. I like I talk to I tell people, I curse a lot. That's how I talk. It's not like I want to do it. I just that's how I talk. But if I'm talking to a woman on the phone or in person or anybody as a whole, in person, all that, the way I talk, it just cut off. Because I know for a fact I'm not stupid to be standing in front of you or be talking to you on the phone and be cursing. No, I'm not. <laughs> I be thinking like you right by me to slap the crap out of me if I do that crap. And I'm, and I'm older than self. And I still be thinking like that. Because it was in, it, it was raised in me. It was raised in me. My mom knew she wasn't a man to really discipline, to really train me as a man. So she made sure all the men in the, in the neighborhood had something to do with that. My brothers then had something to do with that. It's like we need to go back to where we where we knew. We need to go back to how you can how we help one another. Some of you get mad at somebody will be trying to do something good for your kid, just trying to let your kid know something good. It, it's like it doesn't matter how it comes out. It doesn't matter how it comes out. Maybe the way you've been making it come out, they they ain't living listening to it. Some of you treat your kids then like they're your best friends. So they rather don't even know how to talk to you. It's like you soon you start getting mad. You try to be your parents. They get mad because they never look at you as a parent. you have been acting like your best friends for so long. They never look at you as a parent. So soon you get mad at them. They get, they lie child. They don't want to talk to you no more. They don't want to do this. They don't want to do that. They want to go weeks and stuff walking past you in your own house and not saying hi, not saying nothing. And you just let that be. Do we really need just the man in the house for these kids then to come out right? No, you don't. You don't need, you need a man in the house. Yes, we need, everybody need a man in the house. But that's, that's too much. That's too much. People use that as an excuse too much. People use that as an excuse too much that you need you need both parents in the house to raise a kid. No. A lot of people have both parents in the house and they didn't come up right. A lot of people have both parents in the house and they didn't come up right. Because half of, half of the both parents in the house, most of you, you go to work 24-7. And the only time the kids going to see you is in the night. And what are you going to be doing with them? Telling them, are you going to yeah, get ready and go to sleep? That's it. You ain't having no fun or nothing with them. The street been having fun with them. The other people in the other people been having fun with them. Who you don't know around your kids. You don't know around your kids. I know friends then who have both parents in the house, but they were still doing the same thing I was doing. I met when I after school. Yeah, you take your ass to that old man house too. We ain't gonna be around. You take your ass to that old man house. After school, you had a boy, you had somebody in the neighborhood who used to do tutoring. We all go there. He tutor everybody. He, everybody parents pay him a couple of dollars and he tutor everybody. It's like going to another school after school. <laughs> you go there for a couple of hours, do your homework, do everything. And you all leave. And if you had to go go out and go do some work that somebody want you to go do, you go do it. We have stuff to do. It's like if you know you don't have your man in the house, let the let the, the gentleman in the neighborhood help you. You can walk to any one of these gentlemen that you know in the neighborhood that is doing good, that is working, that you know doing mechanic, doing all this stuff. Walk to the air, man. 
I want to be around setting time, da, 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 and I would love for my son to be coming in and come laying some stuff on you one or two. I, when I go to work, you take care of him for me. You, you discipline him. We need to go back to that ways. We need to go back to doing that. Because I always tell people, yes, we need both parents in the house, but do we do we really, really need both parents and do that the only situation, I mean, solution we need? Is that the only solution for us to make these kids and they stop doing what they're doing? Because both parents, you can put both parents in the house, but if both parents is not dead, washing and doing stuff that they can just, like I said again, most people got both parents in the house, but they're going to work 24-7. They both leave in the morning and go to work. They both come home at night, tired as hell, and go straight to sleep. Who washing the kids? They thinking they're doing something good. They thinking you giving these kids and all the computers and all the stuff in the war. That ain't helping them because these muses and all that stuff then ruin your kids. So we need to get back to the we need to get back to the old ways. We need to get back to when the kids, then you, you take these computers and stuff from these kids and then let them go outside. Let them play outside. Let them play with their other friends. Let them interact with other people because half of these kids then don't know how to interact. They don't know how to interact. That's why the, the, the emotion is so high up. They don't know how to interact. They interact when the computer so different that when it goes on, when they go outside, they take that mentality and bring it on the street. Not everybody does that. Not everybody going to do your computer stuff. So do we really need both parents in the house or do we need to change our ways? Because when I was coming up, I know, I like I said, I know a whole bunch of people who came up. No, they ain't had both parents in the house, but you know who they had? They had all the old gentlemen in the neighborhood. They had the brothers. They had everybody that were disciplining them. That was making sure you ain't going to fucked up. I see you fucked up. I see greatness in you. I see greatness in you. You not going to fucked up. I see you will be the one that will take care of this neighborhood. You not going to fucked up. We lost count of that. And all people want to count on now is like, oh, we need both parents in the house. We need both parents in the house. No, some of us came up in this war not even having both parents in the house. Some of our generation came, most of our generation, my generation came up with not having both parents in the house. But we had, we had discipline in the neighborhood. We had discipline anywhere we go. Because when you know you look, you a little ass kid, there is something you know. There's a grown people right there. You ain't stupid to start doing stupid stuff. You had people, you had kids now who would do that. Then you had the old people who would come there and be like, hey, come here. Grab them by their hands and take them to the parents. Or spank them. Or do something. Punish them. We lost count of that. So we should stop counting on, oh, let them let have all the daddy in the house and all that stuff. Half of these dudes in the house don't know how to be a dad. Half of them in the house, they, know how to, they don't know how to be a dad. Half of them in the house is, they still got that, they're still thinking like, they don't have no kids. They're doing stuff then thinking that they don't have no kids. Half of them in the household want to be their friends, their kids and best friends. You got your kids then screaming at you, talking to you, not even know how to talk to you. You call your kids and, what? What you say? Huh? I wasn't there to say none of that stupid stuff when my mom called me. I wasn't there to say none of that stupid stuff. When my mom called me, like, what, huh? Yes, just saying yes. She called me. I ain't stupid to just say yes. Like, Eugene, yes? Man, I'll get beat up. I'll get smacked. Like, who the heck are you telling yes to? You better say yes, mom. Ain't no just yes. We need to go back to raising these kids then right. Letting it because it's that the, the it's time when the it's time when you small. It's time when you little. Let these let let people then help you raise these kids then because half of you thinking that y'all can do it all by yourself. Then when y'all can't do it, it'd be like oh because we don't have the daddy then in the house. 
Some people got the daddy in the house. It ain't make no difference. It's the way you make these kids then move up. It's the way you raise your kids when he coming up or when she coming up. Not being the friends, but be the parents. Be the one to tell them right from wrong. We got we got generation now that they're hanging up with the kids that in the club. And I be looking like you go in the club with your kid. And some dudes they in the club, they're dead to go find girls then. So it's like literally you and your kid they're fighting they dead your dad like a uh, auction for these dudes then. You and your daughter. No. People ain't supposed to be doing that. If like your daughter is a teenager, you and your daughter ain't supposed to be hanging out at the same place, going to the same club, and all that stuff. No, no, you're not supposed to be doing that. As a man too, you're not supposed to be doing that. It's certain things you do as a man you're not supposed to be doing with your kid. I don't give a damn how old he is. You're not supposed to be doing that until he become a man. You're not supposed to be doing that. We need to start getting shit then right. You really don't need both parents in the house. Because half of you people ain't got both parents in the house. It ain't making no difference. We just need to change the way we do things. We need to change the way we act. We need to change the way we behave. We need to change the way we treat one another. Let one another help one another. You see, when I was coming up, I used to watch shows and stuff or or basketball players. And all that stuff. Like, I shouldn't even go back because most of you kids, then, most of you young dudes, then, and stuff, then, like me, and all the people that are younger than me, y'all will, y'all will, y'all will get this shit from, from this, this movie. Like, Barber Shop. Barber Shop 1. Whoever watched Barber Shop 1, you seen that, you seen at the beginning, you seen the old dude went to the, to the Barber Shop with a, with a box. And he had that back, he, he had that box in his hand. Collecting money from everybody in the barber shop. Why? Because there was a kid in the neighborhood that played basketball and he needed a sneakers. There was a kid in the neighborhood that played basketball. He needed a sneakers. So that old man was con- he was collecting money. And what he did in that movie, he bought the sneakers and the kid went to the to the barber shop and he they gave him the sneakers. We it, it, it's like it just something that really used to happen. Rarely used to happen. You have people then taking care of these kids that were coming up that they knew had greatness in it. You have people then making sure these kids then that had greatness in it comes up with all no problem. Making sure they had their they focus on the goal, nothing else. We're not doing that no more. You never need both parents in the hostel for your kids to come out great. No. We always need the community. We always need a community. Yes, you, you need a both parent and the husband. Don't get me wrong. But you need community. Because the parent's not always going to be there. But the community always going to be there. And that's just why I want to say, I ain't, you know, I ain't trying to be making too much a long video because I seen it seems like when I make the video too long, you guys don't watch it. Y'all don't want to go to it and stuff like that. But... And this is why I really want to say I really want to say that because it be it be getting to me like do we like why be, do people think like we need both parents in the house for half of these kids then to come out right? We need these we need things then to change. We just need to go back to the old ways, old ways, the way we was coming up that we couldn't do wrong around around the older people. Yeah, we used to. I ain't said we never used to do it wrong. We do it wrong around ourselves, but around the older people, no. You know it's a consequence behind that shit. Let's get back to where we used to be. And I guarantee you, this stuff never changed. The generation now we got is messed up. And I don't think it's ever gonna change because it's so many, it's so many hatreds in that in this generation and stuff. In my generation. It's so many hatreds in my generation. It's so many hatreds. We not get so many people kill one another, it, they can't let it go no more. So when I'm speaking on stuff like this, I'm speaking about the generation that is coming up, the young, young kids. The young, young kids. We need to start controlling them. We need to start controlling the things that they do. We need to start controlling how they act. 
half of you people need to take these take these these laptops and all these stuff in front of kids. You're not training them. Because then they, they already got emotional and they already got all these feelings and stuff. And they get, as soon as they step outside, somebody said the wrong thing to them, they get in the feeling. They start getting mad. They start, they want to lash out. They want to do this because half of them get mad in the house when y'all say something to them, they start throwing stuff on the wall. Start doing this, start doing that. Then when they come out, they think they can do that same thing. No, you can't just do that. It takes the neighborhood to raise people and take stuff from them like that. Because if a neighborhood helping you raise your kid and they see something like that, they can stop the kids from doing stupid stuff like that. That's all I want to say, man. Everybody stay up. Peace. Enjoy yourself. And I just want to give a little shout out to, to our lady, our YouTube lady, a beautiful lady. And, you know, she, she helped me today. I went on her page and you know she I usually be on her page a lot but I don't comment stuff in there I don't put no comment stuff in there so but she 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 made sure I mean she dropped the panel today and asked me if I want to come on there and I did I went on there I usually don't do stuff like that because it's like I get, I'm not used to having, like, talking to, I used to talking to people on, what's the color, like, face to face, now on the computer and stuff, and like that, I'm not used to that, but I had to go up there today, because, you know, a lady asked, she asked if I want to come up there, and that's me, I told you already, like, I respect women down to the fullest, <laughs> I respect women down to the fullest, so when they tell me, they ask me if I can do some stuff, I then show you. I'm gonna do it. If I got the time, I'm gonna do it. If I got, if it ain't no important things I'm doing, yeah, I'm gonna drop the other shit and go do it. So as soon as she said that, I had to stop working in the shop a little bit and go and jump online, but my internet was so messed up. But shout out to Doja. Doja. Sorry if I butcher your name because I'm African, so we're going to be pronouncing stuff different a little bit. <laughs> but shout out to you, your beautiful sis. Keep it like that. I've been I've been following you. I've been, like I, I said in the message that I post up on the stuff. I've been in your chat for a minute now, so I just don't comment and stuff. I listen to your stuff. And I appreciate what you be saying. I appreciate your message, and I wish you just keep going on. Just keep going on, people. Yeah, and that it's like you keep doing you. Yeah, I appreciate that. I love everything about that. But you, how calm you is, how sweet you is. I love how you sound. Everything. It's like you just like you sense like you got so much love in you, like, and that's the energy that people that need. You know, people that need to follow energy like that. People that need to listen to person like that. People then letting to do stuff like that, like just keep good energy in the war, you know. And and I look at her as people, a person like that that do stuff like that. So shout out to her because she ready to how to do that. But hey, I can't take the daughter's cowboy, man. I can't take daughter's cowboy. <laughs> I know you want me to go to daughter's, man. Boy, this team, man. I can't take daughter's cowboy, man. I gotta stick with this team. See all my hats. Every hat I got, it gotta be having that on there. <laughs> if it don't have that on there, I'm not wearing it. It gotta be having that on there. I love my team, man. The best team in the war to me. Not even to me. That's a fact. The best team in the war. <laughs> hey, but I love you, sister. I love everybody on you that was there shouting and stuff. I love your panel. I love, you know, it's like just love seeing sister do good, seeing sister that sweet lovely and stuff like that seeing sister that i always appreciate and people it's seeing sister that always trying to support people because she didn't have to do none of that since she asked me you got a channel come on let's support your channel on my channel like that's that's create up support that's what i'm talking about we need one another we don't just need one person no we need everybody to help one another Ain't that way, man. I'm out, man. Peace, love. Everybody enjoy yourself. Still in this hot sun. Still working. 
Everybody enjoy yourself, bro. Peace and love. Describe. Shin described like the Vita. Hey, I said my brother didn't say I need to be saying this because <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not I told you I'm not I don't know how to do these type of stuff. So my brother and I'm like, man, if you're gonna be making this Vita, you need to tell the people to describe and do this and do that. It's like I always say I'm gonna say it, but when I say that, describe like the China. But I always say do it if you want. Do it if you like. Don't do it because I'm telling you to do it. Do it because you want to do it. Because that's who I am. I do stuff because I want to do it. I don't do it because some other person tell me to do it. And that way, peace out. And love to you again, sister. Love to you.